Miss Mabika, tell me what you don't like about yourself. My clitoris. And the problem with it is? It was cut out of me when I was seven years old. You were circumcised? I was the victim of female genital mutilation. If this is too painful... No. I have to say it out loud. They dragged me from my bed in the middle of the night. The Dada midwife said I was the worst girl she'd ever cut because of all the screaming. My mother had to sit on me and hold my legs open while the witch sliced off my clitoris with a sharp piece of glass. Then she used it to tear out the folds surrounding it. They stitched my labia closed with thorns. That way my future husband could slice it open. Proof I was a virgin. I didn't think this sort of a thing still went on. In Somalia, over 90% of the women have it done. It's a fatwa. One of the ten obligations a woman must adhere to if she wishes to attain perfection. And if you refuse? An uncut woman cannot marry. She's considered masculine, unclean. Sexual urges belong only to the male. Ms. Mabika, are you saying you want a clitoral plasty? I want an orgasm. In America, on my modeling shoots, I meet women who enjoy having sex. Sex, 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 all the time. It's all the time. Well, they do take breaks every now and then. So, I am asking, can you give me an orgasm? That may not be possible. This is America. Anything is possible. Anything, but not everything. We can certainly reconstruct your pudenda, but as for rebuilding a clitoris, restoring sensation, There is an experimental procedure, something called a free flap transfer, where we take the tip of one of your toes and attach it to the clitoral area. It's only been tried a few times, and the chances of a successful graft aren't optimum. Even if there's a little chance. Please, Dr. McNamara, what have I got to lose? You know something? I don't know the last time I had a good idea. This segment's a good idea. It's not a really good idea. It's a fine idea. It's a regular idea. You love good ideas. I find myself saying, Natalie's got a good idea. You also find yourself saying, Natalie, you screw that up again, I'll set you on fire. That's true, too. And yet, it's the good idea thing I'm focusing on. Do you like this shot here? All I see is the Pepsi sign. Moving on. What was the last good idea you had? When I got up this morning, I decided not to stick my hand in the blender. That's what I mean. How about this? That's good. I think the way that you're handling the Casey situation is very good. The Casey situation? I'm calling it the Casey situation. It's not a situation. It's a bit of a situation. It's not at all a situation. You're going to Vermont for the weekend with Gordon. Yes, I am. And you bought new lingerie. Yes, I did. And you went out of your way to make sure Casey knew you bought new lingerie. I did not. Right. That was me. Natalie. Well, let's get this show on the road already, huh? There's no show and there's no road. You're going to Vermont with Gordon and new lingerie. Yes, because I choose to. And there's nothing sinister about it. I like Vermont and I like Gordon, so I'm going with Gordon to Vermont. And I'm taking lingerie for me. This is for me. Well, I gotta say, you got Casey right where you want him. 